Hi there, this is Erin from RobotGirl.com and today I'm going to show you how I was able to get my dog cow robot to be controlled via an iPad application. So here's a little demo of what the app can do. And so basically, the iPad is just showing a D-pad where I can send the dog-cow robot going forwards, backwards, left or right. So the way that I made this was to use the external accessory framework for uh, iOS. And this was released in iOS version 3. And so we use the connect and disconnect notifications, first of all. And then we connect to an accessory with a given protocol string. And then we open the input and output streams. To send the data, we write to the output stream. To read the data, we read from the input stream. And just as a tip when you're designing your program, you might want to make sure that you aren't blocking the main thread with your streams. So now that I explained the program, I'll explain the cable and the connection aspect of it. So the cable is actually just a Skywire cable. And the Skywire cable is used to control telescopes. And it's made by Southern Stars. It goes from 30 pin to RS-232. And right here I have a SparkFun RS-232 to TTL adapter. And it's able to convert at any voltage really. Uh, and so we have it connected to an XB, which is all powered using 3.3 volts. The Arduino is basically just a simple power supply here, really. And the XB sends data to the dog cow, which uh, uh, underneath has an XB in it as well. Uh, the reason why we use XB and not Bluetooth or Wi-Fi is because we want to be able to use the mesh networking power of XB and we also want to have it low powered enough for it to be on a mobile robot. Alright, so uh, on the dog cow, it's just an Arduino and it's running a really simple program that checks to see what byte it has received and then it, if it was one of the four bytes for movement then it will do the movement and that's pretty much it. <laughs> As you might have seen there was a bit of lag and that's because there's no real buffer uh, code on the dog cow Arduino so it's just doing it all in real time and sometimes it can't catch up. So that's pretty much how I made Dog Cow Robot work with uh, the iPad. And so here I'll show a demo again. This time the cable is unplugged so I plug it in tells me that it's been successfully connected and then I can just and dog cow moves Mo moves, not moves <laughs> it can also move too so yeah um, if you want to do this, just get a Skywire cable, an RS-232 to TTL adapter, and use the EA demo code that is available for everyone on the developer website. So 
thanks for watching and check out my website robotgirl.com.